So what finally came in today is my Anticubic i3 Mega, the new bed. Now this thing's been sitting in my garage for quite a while now, quite a few months, and it's it's about three years old. I didn't realize how dirty this was until I set it right next to the Tronxy. You can see the Tronxy right there. The size comparison difference. We're going to talk about this and fix this kind of at the same time. So. What typically happens with an Intercubic i3 Mega more than anything is these bed cords get wore out. They become unsoldered or they break and you have to kind of go through and fix these or replace them. And throughout the time that I've had this Intercubic, you can see back here, I'll go ahead and take this off. I've already taken the twister parts off of it. I'll take this off anyways. After about three years of owning this, I have fixed this a ton of different times. The wire is all out of its protective sleeve. It's got all sorts of uh, tape here and there. And then it's been re-soldered under here so many times that it's just ridiculous. So it's still a good bed, still workable. So what I'm gonna do with this one here is I'm going to take this all off and change them out and then I'm going to clean this up and have a backup for later but just the this came all together but this is actually the same exact thing as this so this comes with the bottom part with metal then it comes with the top part and it's got a little sticky adhesive here that you can set on there it's got all the screws and stuff that come with it now when I first got this machine, up until I found this new one, I didn't know that they had these, or else I would have never even went through and tried to fix these as many times as I did. I would have probably changed this out a long time ago. You can fix it two or three times, but after that, it's just like you start running out of wire, things start looking really bad, and it's just kind of like, I'd rather just change it out. Make it better. So we're just going to pop this bottom off here. So we got to remove this bottom one first. And I've got a lot of screws missing in this just because I found that it's got so many dang screws. It's just unnecessary. Like this bottom part has the thing coming across here at the bottom. I only put one screw in it and I leave the other side off. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws to take off when all you should really need is the corner screws or the corner bolts. These are called bolts. That's all you need is the corner ones. I don't put these on super tight or anything because I've been in and out of this so many times that I hate taking this thing apart. So we'll fast forward here. like hot glue but I think they I think they use silicone. I'm just gonna pop that off. I hate this silicone. See they put silicone around their connectors. It's just ridiculous. The light kind of sucks so I'm trying to do this the best that I can. So the, the reason I like this option better is because there's no soldering, no 
um, you can see here and I'll show you at the end of this video kind of what I'm talking about I had to I didn't have another connection so I had to take different wires and split the wires and solder them together to the original connector because I didn't have another connector to go in there so I had to keep that connector on and it's just it starts to be a jumbled up mess and looks really bad looks really tacky and there's better ways to do this you can get better wiring stuff there's a lot better ways to do all of this you can see that wires there so here's the old one and there's the wires you see all these wires have been replaced the only original wires that are here in the original bed are this little part next to the connector the only original which were soldered there the board's been all completely resoldered on and you can see just kind of how messy that's gotten because it's been soldered so many times and changed out so many times it just turns into being a real mess now before I put anything else on I'm just gonna put these through and I'm gonna connect them I'm just going to stick all these in this hole where the other ones went through. Once I clean that up and get it rewired, I'm going to have a backup. But these wires don't last. That's the one problem with any cubic is the wires just don't last as long. And I'm going to have to get a new fan as well. So. These should go up underneath all of this mess. So what I'm going to do here first is I'm going to plug this plug in first. Silicone out of there. Uh, I just I hate the silicone. And I know they probably do this so you won't mess with their stuff. It doesn't have to be there. Alright, so that's in place there. And these can go underneath here. It's just a better option if you don't want to solder. You don't want to have to try to change wires out or anything like that. It's just a way better option. Take this. stable. Now you can just kind of pull these wires. And make sure that those don't all right. It's good. That should be good. We're all done with the inside. That was quick. All right, so I'm just going to set this aside because all we got to do is uh, we can put that together after this is all put on. So that's it. That's as easy as it is to install that. Super quick and easy fix. I'll tell you what. 
soldering this or breaking the wires and all that different stuff like redoing the wires that takes some time and it sucks you got to get the solder out I'd rather pay $30 I paid for this instead of going through all that stupid crap well I'm gonna clean this bed up rewire the bed and some different wires and have a backup so if this one ever breaks I'm just gonna switch them back out and it may take me a while to find that connector piece that I need but I'm gonna find it and anybody that noticed I am putting this bottom on backwards there's a lot of dust that goes on the ground I got a bigger fan in here that if you didn't see that's right underneath here and it's big enough that it can suck air in through each side of this to blow onto the board. Um, but if you have this flipped how it's supposed to be, then it's just openly blowing everything. It's sucking everything off the table straight into the fan and into your board. It's a poor design. And so all I did is went in here and flipped it. And it does just as good. I haven't had any problems with it. So again, while I'm putting this together, this is an old Anticubic I did later. About three years old. I probably should have switched the bed about a year ago. I've just kind of been doing repairs and stuff on it and repairs and it's just not the way to go. Alright, the bottom's fixed. I'm gonna flip this over. And there we are. You can see just how nice this looks in the back. A lot nicer. So now we're going to take this bed and we've got to put the new screws in place, the bolts. goes on and then your the washer goes on and then your nut goes on and do that for all four of them so I am going to fast forward through this process that I turned around the camera was off so uh, I stuck the sticky part off it just has a part on the bottom that you strip off and stick it on but there we are brand new bed this is all put together in no time no time at all I mean I would have had everything shut down and I'd have been messing with this for at least an hour if I was chopping wires and doing all that stuff but just changing out this bed is so much easier and now I'm going to take this old bed. Uh, I'm going to keep these wires here because they're actually better than those wires. These are different ones. I'm going to get some new wires for these and keep this connector right here. I'm going to unsolder this whole thing. I'm going to clean this up with some isopropyl alcohol. And I'm going to take a ribbon to this, this uh, solder here and get all that solder off isopropyl alcohol the whole thing to clean everything off and then it's not as clean but it'll be a backup so if that one does go down then I, I can slap this one on really quick and take that one and fix the wires at a later date on my own time you know but that that looks that looks great just great we're gonna plug it in and get this baby cooking I haven't, I haven't used the Anycubic Cubic Mega in so long 
I'm so excited to use this thing. Make sure that we're all good on everything. Yep. All right. And that's how you change that out, guys. Super easy. What you can do is be like me and just go through and every time a wire breaks, fix it. I did it probably a grand total of, uh, in the three years that I've had it, I've fixed the wires. I've probably had to re-solder down here three times. And I've had to fix wires up here, you know, throughout the wires, broken wires. Uh, at least in three years, at least five times. So it's the main problem with any cubic, because if you look at the way that it's designed, let me show you the trunks here real quick. If you look at the way that the trunks is designed, it's got this wire that comes out here, and it hardly bends at all, and it's because of the wrap that's around it. It keeps it sturdy, it doesn't let it crease. See that? That's a really good system. But when you look at the anti-cubic, it just connects back here to the back and you can see right here it's just a heat shrink wrap that goes around it just it's just a heat shrink wrap that goes around it so when it goes back you can see it not only creases down but it rolls the wire and the more it creases and rolls that wire is going to eventually break no matter what i do it's going to eventually break and it's the main number one problem with the anti-cubic i3 mega and now that i know that they have this bed available I am excited because even if I don't get this one fixed I'm just gonna order a new one and they're not expensive I think it was like 30 bucks so if all I have to do is pay 30 bucks every like six months I'm fine with that I really am because I love this printer so much and anybody that has an any cubic out through mega you'll know that I I mean you just love the printer so much you don't want it going down. It's such a good printer. Um, I gotta get this thing all cleaned up. It's been sitting in my garage so long. It's just like, there's dust and particles and stuff coming all down from it. So before I start it up, I'm not gonna do it in this video, but before I start it up, I gotta get a, a good deep cleaning. But it should be ready to go. I'm gonna set it in its spot, turn it on. All right, my name is Ryzen Michael RC. Make sure that you, you hit that subscribe button. Make sure that you hit that bell so you're notified when I put out new videos. And we'll see you guys later. Have a good one.